Welcome back. I came across this awesome website called freechatgpt.chat. The UI looks similar to what OpenAI is providing, the ChatGPT UI, but it has many, many things to provide for us. Let's first go through the UI and also ask some questions in this new interface and let's see how it behaves or how we can get the most out of it. We have used ChatGPT UI before. It looks quite similar, right? Let's see how the ChatGPT UI looks like. So this is how the ChatGPT UI looks like. On the left side, there is this menu icons and all these things. And on the middle, we can have the conversation with uh, ChatGPT. Similar to this, in this new free chat GPT chat also, in the left side, there is this different menus. On the top, similar to ChatGPT UI, there is this new chat functions and you can create as many chat as you want. And down here, there are about an sponsor. Let's see what it is. It says that, okay, free chat GPT is an amazing open source web app that allows you to play with open AI chat GPT API for free. And it also, by the way, supports chat GPT 4. Check out the source code on GitHub and give a star. Let's go to GitHub. And then it says, okay, free chat GPT. And it's quite new actually, if you can see here, by today is 20th of March and it is just updated like three hours before. So they are constantly developing this website. So when you are watching this, maybe there might be some new modifications also already available. So here it says English version and then I think this is Chinese version also. Introducing free chat GPT and features. Let's go to the features first. General SSG chat GPT from anywhere in the world, completely free of charge. Engage in natural and dynamic conversation. Okay, cutting a chatbot. We can have the chats as much as we want. Supply your own API keys to surpass limits of free API endpoint. So let's see. I will also try my own API key and let's see how it behaves. And customize your own API proxy endpoint. Okay, great. And data management. All the chat history are automatically backed up to your browser's local storage, meaning that the data is on our browser itself. It does not go away from that. Easily import and export and download your entire chat log as markdown PDF or image. That's really good. Let's give the star. Uh, yeah, start this. Now let's get back to the project. If you want to support, of course, you can support, support me on Kofi. So you can go here and support because this is completely free in order to have it as a free we need to provide some support to this if you want actually and there is the discord server also to go there and ask questions and get through what is happening behind the scene of the project now let's get back there is a thing called clear conversation of course you can say confirm it will clear all the conversations similar to what chat gpt provides and import and export this is really good you can import as a json if you have already have the conversation before you can import this I will give a try for this one because it looks really impressive. Now there is the API free, meaning that we are using the open AI API key provided by the one who is running this website. But you can even have your own API key and go through this. Now let's first go through the free version and later I will also use my own API key and test how it behaves. And on the settings, you can have different language. And here is auto-generated titles for that light mode and dark mode. And there is a prompt library. This is good that you can have as many prompts as you want. And then you can choose the prompts based on that. We'll go through this later. And there is a default chat config. Okay, great. And made by, made by Jinghua. Thank you, Jing. Let's go back here. So what is here in the, in the middle? Up here, this is the most interesting part that you can, you can have your own configurations. Let's say that you want to have chat with GPT-4, GPT-3.5 Torvo, or GPT-4 32K models. You can choose any model you want. And here you can change the maximum tokens as you want. You can drag and drop this one. And the temperature, top P, presence penalty, frequency penalty, as you want. If you want to know what these things does, there is also the description here. You can go through and play around. But for now, let's just go with the default one. Let's put something here. 
and let's just press the confirm. So that is the top things that we can configure by ourselves. Now, what is this here? It says system. Okay, it's a system. You can you can be a user, assistant, or the system. So here that is the system. It says that system you are ChatGPT, a large language model trained by OpenAI. Knowledge cutoff is 2021-09. Current date 2023-320. So that is the basic that comes by default. But you can even of course change from here. Let's just go with this one for now. And there is user, assistant, and system. So we are the user, right? Let's ask something here. Let's say who is Messi, for example and save and submit so it will go through the open ai api key and it's okay Lionel messi is argentine football player and all these things it provides the information about Lionel messi right so the good part of this now is you can go here and you can download the chat that is one good part if you click this download chat then you can download the chat as image pdf or markdown you can choose as as you want and there is also the import and export as i said before you can export this chat in the form of json let me do this let me export this as json 2023 320 let's just um, save it like that i saved something and this is related to messi right let's close this now let's go and create a new chat here on new chat click on the plus icon Okay, it says fetch, fail to fetch for some reason. Okay, no problem. What we can do is we can delete this system message for now. And what we can provide here is, okay, this is the system, but we want to act as a different system, right? Let's say I want you to act as a Python developer and only answer the questions related to Python programming language. Now let's save and submit this. So I want the system to act as a python developer nothing else so this is how you can customize the system so that it provides us the particular questions only particular answer for that particular questions only so that is how you can uh, customize the system and now the system it's now loading and it's not showing the prompt here because there is some connection issues between the open ai api call so now this is how you can do you get the idea you might be wondering how i added this new prompt right if you go to these settings there is this prompt library if you click here you can provide as many prompts as you want so if you click here you can add give the name here and then provide the description so you can have as many prompts as you want if you want to have some examples there is also a link which is awesome chat gpt prompts and it will link to the github page here you can find many examples of the prompt so you can just copy the one that you need from here and then try it in the chat here let's cancel this it says sure i can help you with python programming language related questions please feel free to ask any questions you may have now it will just provide me the answers which are related to the python programming language only this is how you can customize the assistant as you want now okay this is great right so you we we can we can we can customize the configurations we can also import the chat we can export the chat we can download the chat that's really good until now i'm using the uh, api key that is being freely provided right if you go to api icon here it says i'm using the use for free but let me use my own api key because it is stored locally let me copy my own api key and paste it here by the way i will already remove this when you watch this video i'm not using this api key in other use cases so let's just provide the api key and then i can provide confirm here now if i go to new chat and okay let me ask something here now it will use my own api key that means that i am paying for what i am using that's really good so that it i don't need to use the one that is provided free because sometimes there may be some connection issues when I use that or there, there might be some timeout limits or something like that. But now let's say that, okay, difference between Py, Spark and Python. If I ask the question and let's save and submit, now provides faster response because now I'm using my own API key. When I didn't use my own API key, it was a little bit lagging there. But now when I use my own API key, it's providing me the faster 
response. So let's say that I want to ask as many questions as you want. Let's say more info. If you save and submit, it will provide me more information about this because it remembers what I'm asking before. And the good part is you can, as I said before, you can go up and change. If I'm using now GPT 3.5 Torvo, you can go ahead and change, for example, GPT 4 or GPT 4 32K, any models you want. One more good thing, what I noticed here is I downloaded the chat before, right? So now let's import the chat and without giving any information, let's ask some more questions to it. Now let's go to this import and export. I want to import something. So I just saved before this messy related things, right? If successfully imported and it is imported here, it says here, okay, you are a chat GPT. I asked messy and all these things, right? So now let's just ask it more info without providing anything to it. And let's save and submit. So now it will remember the chat that I asked before that I was asking about Messi, right? Who was Messi? He said, oh, sure, here are some additional facts about this is how it works. You can download the chat. I think that is the really good feature of this website that you can change or customize the website as you want. You can customize the model as you want and also import and export the chat and continue from where it was before and so on. This is really helpful. I, I find this website really helpful. If you don't want to use OpenAI, it's fine. But if you have already created the OpenAI account and if you have your own API key, you can use your own API key and go through all the features that this website provides, which is not provided in the chat GPT UI or provided by OpenAI. And again, thank you, Jinghua, for creating this great website, free chat GPT, the chat website, and all the other contributors who are also contributing to make this project successful. Thank you very much. I hope you find it helpful. I really find it helpful and I'm actually exploring this and it's much faster than what chat GPT UI provides because I have my own API key, which I can use here and I can customize all the different features here. Yeah, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.